Daniel Eikhoff here with Paragon Software. Welcome to a webinar, Partition Misalignment Causes Problems and Solutions. Quick introductions. We'll look at the partition alignment overview issues, what causes it. Then we'll, uh, we'll, do, we'll look at uh, our solution of that problem, which is our partition alignment tool. We do a quick uh, demo of the product. And then we'll open up the floor for open Q&A with uh, Tom Coughlin, as well as two uh, technical resources here at Paragon Software. This is the panel here today. Uh, our guest expert is foremost storage analyst Tom Coughlin from Coughlin Associates. We also have Jim Thomas, Director of Technical Services here at Paragon Software, Francisco Gillette, Solutions Engineer at Paragon and uh, Alignment Specialist, and then myself, my name is Daniel Eikhoff. I run uh, sales and marketing here at Paragon, and I'll be your host and uh, mo uh, moderator today. Tom Coughlin brings a lot of experience in the, uh, in the storage field on both sides of the fence as a user and also as an analyst and a consultant. And uh, we're very grateful to have him on this call with us today to uh, share his expertise and uh, answer questions. With that said, Tom, you're having discussions on this subject of uh, partition misalignment on a daily basis with your clients. Tell us, what is partition misalignment in your understanding, and uh, why is it such a critical problem? Sure. Well, thank you, Daniel. It is a critical problem right now, and, part, and the reason why is because there is a significant change taking place in the basic architecture of the storage devices that we use every day, such as hard disk drives and flash memory. The basic change is that we are going from an architecture that is about 30 years old or more with 512-byte sectors to 4,000-some uh, uh, byte sectors. And that's a pretty significant change. It changes the – and the reason why it's being done is, is because it provides a uh, – better capability of making uh, higher capacity storage devices, gives us more room for error correction in the headers of the sectors, uh, which is very important for being able to increase the uh, recording density and therefore getting, higher, getting future generations of products to work. So it's a transition that had to be made. We're now in the course of that transition from 512 byte to 4,000 byte sectors. And as it says here, if care isn't taken, especially if you're uh, doing a transition from a 512-byte device to a 4-kilobyte four device, you can end up with a misalignment between the physical location of the data on the drive and the logical sector information on where the drive and the systems using the drive think the data is. And that's called this uh, partition misalignment. And it's a big issue for a couple different reasons. The biggest thing that most people are going to see is that the misalignment can cause you to do extra operations when you're trying to access your data. So you can, if, you, if your data is not where you thought it was physically, you may have to go back and read again. For example, that, that causes this read, modify, write. So if you want to read and then change some data, for instance, you may have extra operations, therefore more overhead and a delay in time from what you thought you might, it might take to get something done. So you can see a performance hit that maybe is typically in the neighborhood of 20 to 40 percent, but can be as high as 50 percent. So performance degradation is one of the consequences of that misalignment. Another issue is that if you're doing more read and you know more uh, operations on the storage device, uh, more read and write operations, you can cause early wear on a storage device, which has some issues for a hard disk drive, but can be significantly greater. Uh, with a solid-state drive if you're not careful, especially if you end up doing extra write operations. So those are some of the basic issues why uh, partition misalignment in this era of a changing basic uh, storage device architecture, why it's such a critical issue for so many people. From your experience, what causes misaligned drives and, and what are the most common scenarios in which partitions might get misaligned? So basically, as I mentioned before, you've got where it, the data is physically located in a storage device, let's say a hard disk drive. And then you've got another layer above that, which is where the, the logical mapping information, where the, the storage device thinks that is. And if those are misaligned, then you can end up having to do 
extra operations to get the data you thought you were accessing, or in the case of doing a write, you may end up having to uh, go back and find where you are to, to write new data where you thought you were going to write it. If you have virtualization, as shown here on the left-hand side, you can actually have some additional issues there. Where you tend to run into this misalignment are, for instance, if you're migrating data from 512-byte sector storage devices to 4-kilobyte sector storage devices, for instance, the hard disk drives. Also, um, if you're in a storage array uh, with uh, either network-attached storage, storage area network, or even a, a JBOD array, and also in the case of a virtualization environment where you're creating virtual machines that may access partitions created for those virtual machines in the storage, that storage architecture, sector misalignment can cause significant performance issues versus if your sectors were aligned. Also, if you have utilities that you're running, especially things that will impact the storage devices that are not aware that it's their four kilobyte sectors, then you can also accidentally create sector misalignment issues. Some programs, operating systems, but even things like Apple's Partition Manager can cause sector misalignment, and older Windows operating system uh, computers or storage devices using Windows, older Windows operating system may have difficulty working with four kilobyte sector drives. So there's a lot of the issues with the misalignment are due to um, moving from both the storage devices, the architectures, and software that was used to 512-byte sectors, uh, now working into the 4-kilobyte sectors. We show on the left-hand side here, you get a virtual environment with uh, the partition misalignment. You can see the different levels of misalignment there. And if you align them, then you may end up having to do fewer operations, and therefore you get a can be a very significant performance boost, as indicated uh, in the lower left-hand side there. Yeah, what you said is uh, exactly what we've seen with our customers too. Uh, where the uh, the most the two most common scenarios seem to be uh, system migrations to new hardware or uh, virtual environments, and also mm -hmm. uh, storage upgrades to 4K drives. Sure, sure. Who's affected by uh, partition misalignment issues? Well, since everybody, uh, you know, we're, everyone is going to be running into before too long, moving from 512 to 4 kilobyte sector drives because all the disk drives are going to move to that architecture. And that means that basically everyone will be facing, potentially facing an issue of sector misalignment simply from migrating from the older devices into the newer devices. So almost every storage device, the storage system architecture and application can potentially be impacted by partition misalignment. And it's true of all the common mass storage devices in use today, both hard disk drives and solid, solid state drives. Um, and it includes all almost every application you can think of, uh, database applications. Uh, as you mentioned before, virtualization environments where you're working in virtual systems, um, as well as in uh, drive array applications. Uh, could be RAID or could be other distributed data architectures. In fact, um, the issues potentially are even larger where you have multiple drives together than they typically would be with a single drive. And the problem with partition misalignment increases the number of storage devices being used increases. So basically, that's in line with that. And so it can impact all these applications. It potentially impacts all customers because we're in this major transition right now. So whether you have a single drive or you're serving a large company, you can, have, you can run into this issue at uh, you know, a greater or lesser extent of, uh, of impact upon your operations, but it definitely will have some impact. Thank you very much, Tom. You're welcome. At Paragon Software, we've, uh, we've been making uh, software solutions for over 17 years now, focusing on several area, areas, primarily backup and disaster recovery, uh, virtualization and imaging, and another uh, area of focus is system optimization, particularly partitioning. Uh, we have a B2B division where we offer software licensing and services to small, medium, and, and Fortune 500 companies, and then also we have an OEM uh, division. We've been one of the first vendors or companies to recognize that partition alignment problem, and uh, we are offering uh, the, the leading solution on, on this subject, and major, major manufacturers including, uh, if I may proudly say, uh, Dell and HP and Toshiba are uh, licensing our partition alignment tool for large 4K drive upgrade projects and, and uh, such. So very powerful product. Here was it, what it does in a nutshell. It, it uh, automatically detects and corrects misaligned partitions in a single operation. 
It, uh, as a result, it uh, optimizes the performance of disk and disk subsystems. And uh, also importantly, like uh, as Tom already mentioned, it uh, significantly increases the uh, longevity of drives, uh, most critically with SSDs. Uh, you can align uh, partitions in virtual containers or on the host. And uh, very importantly, we uh, offer a save mode uh, for maximum data protection. So if you have to resume the operation, if something happens during the uh, partitioning process, you can resume the process uh, without any data loss. So that's critical. Uh, we minimize downtime during the operation, and we also offer a zero install version where you can run the product from a DVD or CD without installing it on a server. So uh, with that brief introduction, I'll turn it over to Francisco. Francisco is one of our senior uh, solution engineers and also one of our alignment specialists. Thank you, Daniel. All right, so what I'm going to show you is the Paragon alignment tool. And what this, the first screen that comes up is our welcome screen, it gives you a brief introduction of the, uh, the alignment process and what it's going to do. The next step that it does is it does an analysis of your system and um, determines whether any partitions need alignment. If you get these options, the alignment options, that means that there is a partition in your system that can be aligned. We provide three different options for data loss protection from do not protect uh, up until power loss. Um, the different options basically give you resume capabilities in case of any kind of power outage or system restart. We're just going to select the default for the data loss protection. And secondly, we have options for system integrity checking. Again, three options for that as well. We can always protect where during each stage of the process, it's going to do an integrity check, uh, essentially running a check disk on the system uh, once, where it's going to do a one-time check to make sure that the drive you're aligning or partition you're aligning is okay, and then uh, not to check at all. And again, we're going to stay with, with this, the default. On this next screen, it actually shows us the disks and the partitions in our system and their alignment status. On the right-hand side, we have a legend that pretty clearly uh, lets you know what's already aligned, what can be aligned and needs to be aligned, or partitions that cannot be aligned, uh, very simply with the green, yellow, and red icon. For this first run, we're actually going to do the secondary partition. Uh, it's on a secondary disk. First, to show you what it looks like in Windows and how to do that. Any non-system partitions can be aligned within Windows. There is not a restart required. Um, it will do the alignment process and, once complete, give you the status. As you can see here, it's running through the alignment process. It's a really quick, quick process. Uh, there's not really much data on that partition. Once it's complete, it gives you the end result, and then you can go on to align other partitions in your system. Bringing up the application again, going to um, so this time we're going to align the system partition, and this is going to require a restart. That's the case with any alignment solution that's out there. Um, it needs exclusivity to the partition, so therefore it needs to restart to do the operation. You just click the align, and then it's going to prompt you. It says it needs to restart and align. So once you click that, it's actually going to shut down your system. And then during the shutdown process, it's actually going to boot into uh, what we call the Paragon blue screen mode. It's the same environment in which check disk runs in. Um, it's going to carry out that process, as we'll see here. It uh, gets the partition information in this state um, and then starts the, the, uh, the moving of the partitions and moving of the data. And then once this, this portion uh, completes, uh, the, your system will automatically restart with the newly aligned partitions. And once Windows is back up and running, um, it will, again, give you the status of, those, uh, of the alignment process that you, were just, that you just did. Thank you for viewing Paragon's Partition Misalignment Causes Problems Solutions webcast with Tom Coughlin. You can download a copy of the complete recording, including a questions and answers section.
at paragon-downloads.com forward slash webinars forward slash pat underscore webinar dot avi or for additional information on Paragon software solutions including PAT please visit us at www.paragon-downloads.com